what's up LNT fam welcome back to another video I got myself a new project 2019 Range Rover supercharge and we actually sold our plat and this is a trade-in so we're gonna do a little customization to it before we sell it and I gotta do minor scratches on the bumpers here and there so we're gonna make this car look 100% perfect and we're gonna murder it out it's gonna be all blacked out and looking good anything you see uh, silver that's gonna be black and then the lower we got paint body color then we got little scratches on the bumper i'm gonna get rid of the license plate uh, we're gonna paint the wheels glass black we're gonna tint the windows uh, front and windshield for the privacy this thing's gonna look super nice all blacked out mean looking machine right now first thing what i want to do i want to tint the windows my guy just arrived here so we're gonna tint the side windows and the windshield so this way it looks nice so yeah this is a little project so let's tint the windows and we'll go from there Just tinted the windows on the Range Rover and it looks so much better. Check it out, now it looks more aesthetically pleasing and you're not gonna be sitting in the fishbowl. So we did 50% windshield and then 20% uh, front to match the back, so it looks really nice. So if you guys live in Orange County and you wanna get your windows tinted, reach out to my guy and he'll hook you up. I'll put all their information down in the description. Give him a call, get a quote and mention the you're from LNC and they'll take care of you guys even more. So we're all finished with tin, so now we could pull the car inside and start the customization. the Range Rover inside of the shop so we could start working on it and I'm gonna put the car on the left this way I could remove the wheels remove the bumpers and do everything at once so before we put her on the left I want to remove those moldings right here the side moldings because once the car is going to be up it's going to be hard to get to them so I'll remove the front ones on both sides and then we'll rack up the car and start taking everything apart and the wheels we're gonna send them out they're gonna uh, fixed a uh, couple of curb brushes. I believe this side got curb brushes. Uh, yeah, this one and the rear one. And they'll paint them glass black at the same time. So that's the plan. Let's remove the door moldings and we'll go from there. It, just remove the door molding so now we could rack up the car and continue working while the car is in the rack because the back ones I could remove them no problem and the rest something like this so let's rack it up remove the front bumper rear bumper the wheels we should be good <laughs> That's it, just remove the wheels. So we're gonna send them out and they're gonna be glass black and perfect. We're gonna fix this and this. So we had two curb rashes on the wheels, but the rest are perfect. I already called my guy, he's on his way to pick him up and we should have him back within the next couple of days or so. Meanwhile, we should have the rest of the Range Rover done. So right now I'm gonna start removing the front bumper, the rear bumper, and then this piece, and then the rear door as well. And we'll start the painting process. Just 
just remove the front bumper. So uh, next we'll remove the rear bumper and then we'll start taking the bumpers apart. Yeah, I gotta take everything apart. All the moldings, all the grills, fog lights. But we'll do that after we remove the rear bumper so we could do everything at once. So let's do that next. And rear bumper should be fairly easy as well. Gotta remove those side covers. And then there's a bunch of bolts at the bottom as well on the sides and the bumper is removed. Let's go. Just removed the rear bumper, so the whole car is completely stripped and ready to go. The letters I'll save for the last, I already got a new one, so we'll leave that for last. Rear bumper removed, sides removed, all the panels removed. So now we could start uh, taking this bumper apart, I gotta patch up the holes. And strip the grill as well. I gotta remove this piece, remove the emblem. I got new ones. Gotta respray everything. And here's the rear bumper. Rear bumper got minor damage, so we'll fix that as well. Should be fun. Everything is prepped and ready to go. Man, we had a lot of pieces. Here's the rear bumper and the front bumper and the front bumper i repaired the license plate uh, holes and we primered and everything is prepped and ready to go so next we'll start the painting process let's go we got all the pieces in the spray boot so andre could do his magic You guys want to see a magic trick in one, two, three? Boom! Everything is painted and looking good. Wow, that's gonna look incredible. Everything is painted, body color, except for this. This is gonna be just gloss black because the rest of the car has a little metallic in it. But well, lots of pieces, and the best part the front bumper is completely painted. And I looked around and unfortunately none of the Range Rovers uh, come painted and they look kind of cheap with that plastic but this one's gonna be I guess one of a kind everything murdered out and it's gonna look really nice it's gonna stand out so yeah super happy with everything let's pull everything out and start putting the car slowly back together should be fun Let's go. Just cut the wheels back and man, they're looking beautiful. I love it. Check it out. So I got different uh, uh, center caps coming, so I should get them um, hopefully in the next couple of days. But this is the final look. Came out beautiful. I love it. So now we could install the wheels and we got the bumpers left. I got everything out of the spray boot. And now we could start putting it back together. And man, a lot of pieces. I didn't even know where to begin. I'm thinking I'm gonna start with the rear bumper or I'm gonna start with the sides, rear bumper, and then for the final, the front bumper, because front bumper has a lot of pieces. We'll do the easy stuff first and then leave the bumper for the last and we'll be done with it. So we're gonna start with the rear door. Wow, that looks really clean. I love it. Wow, what a transformation. That's gonna be crazy.
just install all the side moldings and, <laughs> and it looks really nice. Wow, such a big difference, crazy. So next we're gonna start installing the rear bumper and rear bumper looks even better. Wow, amazing. Then I painted the exhaust tips, the satin black. We got nice little contrast going on. Wow, beautiful. And this side looks amazing as well. Just put the back end completely together so we're all finished and now we could move on to the front end. I already put the bumper together and look how nice that looks. Woo! That came out clean. Very clean, I love it. So now we're ready to start installing it. Just installed the front bumper and man, it's a game changer. Oh, look how aggressive this looks. And I removed the front license plate so this bumper looks even better. I think the front license plate kind of ruined everything, but everything is painted and I think I'm gonna be one of a kind. I've been looking online and nobody ever did this that I could find where they paint everything. A lot of wheels, black wheels and grills and emblems, but haven't seen any of them with the lower section painted. Look how nice it came out. Wow, beautiful. The only thing I gotta install the grill. On the grill we had little, uh, little boo-boo, so Andre has to repaint the grill. I don't know what happened, but for some reason on the corner in the clear had some bubbles. So this is what it looks like, if you guys could see. So we try to color sand and buff, but it doesn't look too good. So before the grill is all together, we're just gonna respray it real quick. It's gonna look good, like nothing happened. Yeah, well, no, I actually, uh, I actually touched this when I was spraying. Ah. Uh, it was loaded, parts everywhere. So then I tried to cover it up with extra clear, but. That's what happened. Okay, I was warm. That's why I like to keep space in the booth, so this time I just packed it, but... Now I see what happened. Andre messed it up. At least he admits it, because I was like surprised. I was like, really? This corner? Out of everything, Andre usually kills it, but he touched it. Now we know. So keep a nice space in your spray booth. Luckily, it was just a small piece. Imagine like a quarter panel or something big like that you touch. Oh, that's why I always like to break up parts, do the car and then bumper separate. Or in this case, there's a lot of moldings, lots of bumpers. So yeah, oh, I was busy. I you'd want to break it up somehow, and so then there's more room to mess around, mess around. dance. So we'll leave the grill for last. So right now I want to change the emblems. Uh, we got glass black, so we're going to remove this and install the new ones. So now I'm gonna make like a little template. And the reason why I'm doing this, because I want to remove the letters, uh, polish this whole front section and then reinstall the new ones because it looks a little rough and need some nice color sand. As you guys could see, the whole hood never been polished before. And this way I have my diagram to reinstall everything so it's nice and straight. So next we'll use a eraser wheel to get this extra double tape off. Ah! 
So right now we'll use something like this to clean everything up. And this stuff works amazing. Spray it, let it chill there for a couple of seconds. That's it. So right now we'll do quick polish. And then before I'll install the emblems, the letters, I like to wipe it down with Windex. Believe it or not, Windex is the best stuff ever. It gets all the wax out and the letters stick really good. Believe it or not, the letters gonna stick like crazy now. And then I left the tape. So now I'll know where my middle and everything is. Boom. Boom, boom. Just gotta make sure not to misspell it. <laughs> that would be something. Just installed the front emblem and it looks a lot better. And then once we installed the grill, it's gonna be game over, but it looks really clean. I love it, such a mean looking front end. So next we could jump on the back and install the letters as well. And I also got different uh, Land Rover emblem as well. So this is the front before it was green. So I got a black one and we also gonna replace this one. This one has a green background and I got a black one. So it's gonna look a lot cleaner. Also, I'm gonna replace this one as well. I got a black one, supercharged, and it's gonna look clean. So everything's gonna be blocked out. I'm not gonna record me replacing this, so I'll just do a quick before and after, and that's it. I already showed you guys on the front end what the process, so I just gotta have to do the same process in the back, and we're ready to go. The grill is painted, so now we can put it back together and it looks amazing. Look at that, wow, beautiful. So what I did, I did body color and then glass black, the rest, so it has a little contrast. Let's install it now. That's the final piece to this puzzle. Just put the Range Rover completely together and boy, oh boy, it looks incredible. Super nice. Check out the back end, it looks so aggressive. And I love this black emblem with silver. The Range Rover all blacked out and I just installed this supercharged. It looks really cool. Everything's blacked out. I blacked out the exhaust tips as well. Painted everything body color. Wow, what a transformation. Before it looked cheap with the plastic and silver, now it looks really rich. Wow, what a beast. And the front end is game over. I painted all the plastic pieces so everything looks nice and clean. And I also got a different emblem as well, black one. But well, look at this monster. So let's pull the car out and we'll go from there. So right now we're gonna do three steps polish on the Range Rover, make it look like brand new. So it'll be shining bright like a diamond. And it looks like somebody tried to polish this car and they did a really bad job and they left lots of swirl marks. So we'll let Christian do his thing. And then once he's done, we'll take some cinematic shots of the finished product.
Range Rover's wash detailed and ready to go with the three steps polished so it's shining bright like a diamond. Man, I just love the way it looks, all murdered out. Wow, what a beautiful car. It makes the biggest difference once you paint all the plastic pieces, body color, it just makes the car look completely different. I think this is gonna be one of a kind Range Rover because there's a lot of black ones with everything black but none of them have painted bumpers and painted plastic pieces matching with the body color. It makes the car look completely different and it looks a lot richer. So we're officially done with this build. It's gonna be for sale, but I don't think it's gonna last too long. It's gonna go by quick, cause it's, like I said, one of a kind, and it's perfect. Perfect inside out, low miles, 33,000 miles, and it's a 2019, and it's a 5.0 supercharged. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are new to this channel, and you guys enjoy this kind of content, you know what you do. Subscribe, don't forget to like this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next build. Do svidaniya! And Range Rover is sold. Another happy customer.